Every minute that you're in battle is like a thousand years. It just never ends. I go to the movies once in a while and they always had a newsreel on the movies in those days that showed you world affairs. Of course, anything to do with war, they had that on there. So. Canadians have written a glorious page of history in 1944. A new year of opportunity now dawns. In it, may we find victory and happiness under the banner of freedom. A sniper was one of the most hated persons in uh, battlefield because he sat back and shot people and he was uh, had a telescope on his rifle and all that. Though the rule was that if they ever got caught you, they just shot you, they didn't bother taking you a prisoner or not. <laughs> but I didn't know all this, of course. The Canadians, like other units, have taken their quota of German prisoners. At dawn in the Leri Valley, a battalion moving up. This was the 8th Army Front approaching Ponte Corvo, where some of the toughest fighting of all these tough battles was done in the ruins. We were sent into, uh, sent into Germany, to one of them camps, eh? Jeez. We couldn't, uh, we, uh, uh, they sent us up there to guard the camps. All the guards were gone and that, and they sent us up there. And we couldn't let them out, eh? They wouldn't let us go in there to, to, you know, to do anything for them and that. So just when we get to, just stay there till the medics come up. And then we opened the gates, but then the medics went in and they sprayed them and everything else home. And it, it was, how anybody <coughs> could, could treat people. Like these people were treated to God. I turned 15 on the, the 4th of May, 1941, and I was in the Canadian Navy the 21st of May, 1941, at the age of 15. I guess the reason was there was a number of our friends that were joining. So they put a bunch of us on a bus, and we had to go to Vancouver, stand the picket line. Well, sometime during the night, a fight broke out. And a good friend of mine, he says, well, he's, if I got a fight, I might as well join the army. So I said, I'll go with you. So we went to Jericho Beach. That was the end of railroading till I came back. Doing observation up there. And I'd uh, knocked this brick out and was observing the back square. And uh, the German soldier came out and I had to shoot him on Christmas day. That bothers me so much. I mean, I, you know, I don't mind, didn't mind shooting a German, but on Christmas Day it just didn't seem to be right. The message that we must give is freedom is not free. Freedom does not, it, it, it isn't something that's handed to you, it's something that must be earned. And as long as we remember that, and remember the, 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 the people have died. All kinds of people have died for the freedom that we that that that, 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 that we enjoy and we cherish.